Hello there guys, welcome back to Reborn with Michael Watson. Today I'm talking from my car again, I'm picking up my kids because I have been working with some amazing clients today. So today I want to talk about this wonderful idea of starting small, grow in faith. You can grow in faith and I want to sh t share with you two small stories of how letting go literally will change your life and trusting in that faith will change your life. This will literally... If you can implement this in your life, you'll start to see it in bigger areas of your life. So this is a game changer. Before I get into it, please do like, share and subscribe. Comment down below if you find the video helpful. Also, please join my free Facebook group, The Healing Circle, where we learn to heal, create and manifest. And also, I'm going to be starting up a membership next month. Who's down to join? Give me a comment down below if you're up for the membership. And I'll leave a little link where you can sign up to be one of the founding members to that. Guys, let's talk about this. So two things happened to me the other day and it was really joyful. So the reason why I want to talk about this is because it's very Neville Goddard, very Joseph Murphy-esque stuff here. So after a while, we have to assume the feeling, right? So what happened? So this is what happened. I did some extra work for someone because many of you know I used to be an actor and a singer in the West End. So I was teaching these young kids how to act and sing. Anyway, I, I got paid in cash at the end, which was very nice. And it was a nice amount, not too much, not too little, but I was carrying it with me. Well, the guy who was running the course, he asked me for a coffee. So I go for the coffee with him, we have a lovely time. I then go to check my pocket. Oh my gosh, the money is missing. What does that mean? The money's missing. Well, immediately, just so you know, the old self, Dr. Joe Dispenza talks about the old self a lot, and I love this idea. The old me wanted to react with um, upset. I've worked with, I've worked for nothing, it's lost, it's gone. But because of this work that I've been doing for so long and teaching so many others, I just started to recognize it. That was it, I just wanted, I just recognized the feeling. I started to sit with that feeling. I didn't even shut my eyes, I was with the person. So I just started to self-regulate, as Dr. Joe Dispenza would call it, but regulate my emotions. So I started to regulate my emotions and I started to feel a sense of ease flow over me. From that space, I started to claim that this money will come back to me in divine order, in divine time. Also, I started to claim that if someone else has taken it, may they prosper and be blessed by it. And if it's meant to come back to me in another way, it will come back multiplied. What happened? I started to feel at peace. We started to walk back towards the school thinking I may have left it there but do you know what I'd let go of the idea of it all within that time what happened was I was walking along the street a hundred yards in front of me at the bus stop was the envelope with the money it I was in that coffee place for an hour an hour and no one had taken it the wind hadn't blown it away and it was just there and I collected that money put it back in my pocket and I tell you it was so magical because what the lesson is and this is the big lesson that I want you to take away from it all the lesson behind it all is that we are our energy expressed belief expressed our God is our belief why Neville calls it the own human imagination is because if we imagine it we can believe it it is your belief expressed so I started to believe that everything works out for me that there's a divine presence that looks after me and brings things to me as needed the easiest way possible and what happened it reflected in my life you see these small little areas in life where you can start to add this on you will see a huge difference in your life now the next step was I couldn't actually <laughs> I, I my wife then said I'm at my nan's house and I had a car that didn't have a charger in and my battery died and I had to drive from somewhere I didn't know. So in that case, again, you start to think, oh man, how am I gonna get there? Well, again, simplify the task in your mind, make it small. This is a small task, really. The money was a small thing. That's why it's good to start with small things. But if it's a big thing, make it smaller in your mind. Don't make it such a big deal. You simplify the task in the mind. Then you assume the feeling that I am guided, divinely guided. And that feeling is a feeling of trust, playfulness and ease. Because it's like, what happened was I started to drive. 
I started to not recognize where I was even more. <laughs> and from there, I just started to laugh. I took a turning which I actually in the end was going, oh, that's a wrong turning, started to laugh. But I, in, underneath it all, I was divinely guided. Well, I'm telling you, that turning took me up a road and suddenly I was on the road where her nan lives. It literally took me on a road where I, I was like, I'm here. All I've got to do is turn left and her house is down here. It guided me. This is this place where you can start. I've been doing this a long time and I do it in these small areas all the time too. Make yourself saturated with the ideas of the divine. Make yourself saturated with these truths of God. That you are divinely guided, you are divinely blessed, everything is always working out with you. Live in joyous expectancy of the best and know that you are loved. I tell you, it is a life changer. Assume the feeling that you are divinely guided. What does that mean? You don't have to worry about anything anymore. You don't have to care so much. It is done. You are guided. Even in these small areas of life, I could tell you big, big stories of how I surrendered and overcame a court judgment. Do you want to hear that story? Comment in the... Um, leave it in the comments and I'll tell you that story but thank you so much guys I really appreciate you all remember to like share and subscribe and comment it really helps the video take care